Here's how you use the effects in Pixlr Express. I'm going to browse and grab a picture. I'm going to click Effect. Each one of these effects opens up another family of effects. So I'm going to go into the Create a Family of Effects. And whenever I look at one of these thumbnails, it gives me the picture for what it will look like and there's some more over on the right that you can arrow over to to see the full group. So I think that I like this one under creative effects that's the name of the family and in that family is an effect called Piper so I would want to make a note of that to see to make sure that I remember which one it is but maybe I decide that's not the one I want so I'm gonna cancel that I could go back into creative to find other effects in that family. Uh, this time I'm going to try the soft group of effects and perhaps uh, knowing which of the colors I'm using in my section of the yearbook I like a particular tint so I'm going to choose this one and I can see it has a name it's Sarah under the soft effects so I'm going to click Sarah and let's say that I like that one I'm going to apply that effect. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to rename it. And uh, I can't remember what I told you kids to do in the, in the handout I gave you, but I don't have it handy with me. So I'm going to save it under Pixlr. It's Effects. And I do want to know um, who did it. So I'm Lily Wolf, and I did it with Wanda. So there's the name and click save. The most important part is that you put it in a folder on your desktop because that's where we're going to be looking at them from um, in class on Thursday. So I click save and I already did this earlier and then I'm done with the effects. So you'll want to practice with those, play with those ones. In the next very short screencast I'm going to explain the overlays which are different than the effects.